Hello there and welcome back to Strathpeffer Junction. We've got another Strath Shorts video for you just now uh, and today we're going to have a look at one of the Ringfield motor adapters, specifically the, the Lima type uh, that I devised last year. Um, now one of the issues with these adapters um, is that sometimes the motor can be just very slightly loose inside uh, and that's because the manufacturing tolerances of these can sometimes vary between batches or prints and similarly the manufacturing tolerances of the, the little can motors can vary too. Um, these are created or the, the outside the can by pressing sheet metal uh, and sometimes it's just very slightly fraction of millimeter different and when you marry the two up it means that uh, they can be a little bit loose. So there's two ways that I recommend resolving that. One is a kind of permanent solution uh, and one is a reversible temporary solution. So we'll have a look at those two solutions just now. Okay, so solution one doesn't involve these, so we'll pop these just aside for now and we'll bring in the super glue and the cocktail stick. So this is, as I say, the permanent solution um, and uh, I wouldn't recommend this one unless you, well, you think you'll never take this motor out of this adapter again. Um, but it is probably the most bomb-proof one. So we'll just pop the, the motor in anyway. So that's it in place. And what you'll find is sometimes these will be really nice and snug. And when you hold the adapter with this hand and you give the motor a wee move like that, that nothing will move. And that's ideal. You don't need to do anything else. But as is the case here, there's a little bit of movement here. Uh, and the, the friction between the, the adapter and the can is just not quite enough to stop it from moving. Now I have actually run them like that and as far as I can see when it's all whizzing away it actually doesn't seem to move very much at all but I wouldn't recommend leaving it like that. So option one, super glue. Um, I've got medium super glue, either medium or thick. Don't use thin super glue because there's a danger it will dribble all over the place and stick everything down. But what we want to do anyway is just pop the motor out maybe about halfway out, no more than that really, um, and get a little bit of super glue on the end of the cocktail stick and just pop a little bit on one side, a little bit on the other side, and a little bit on that side there. Two or three blobs, that's all you need. You certainly don't need to coat it or anything like that. You just need one little blob, another blob, and maybe a blob, three for luck. Uh, and then slide it back in Make sure that everything's lined up and the wires here are not uh, caught or snagged and let that dry. And once you've done that, this motor will be locked solid in there and it won't move. But that's option one. So now we'll look at option two. Okay, so option two, and uh, this is now my preferred option uh, because it is reversible, you can undo it, you can replace the motor if you need in the future uh, uh, without needing to buy a new adapter. Um, so this one uses capped on tape and a pair of scissors. Now I have bought uh, this capped on tape, which I think is about 10 mil. Um, and the reason I've, I bought this is because it's the same thickness as the motor and it means I'll, I'll not need to, to uh, trim anything. But if you've got thicker capped on tape, you can use that, just trim it down to size. So what we'll do anyway is uh, we'll pop the motor out this time rather than just half out, we'll take the whole thing out. We'll move the adapter to the side. And what we want to do is wrap a layer of capped on tape around the outside of the motor. Um, I suspect we'll probably just need a single layer for this adapter, but you could build them up if you needed to, so you know, one layer and two layer and so on. So we'll cut a little strip to get going first of all anyway, uh, and then we'll, we'll wrap that strip around the motor. Okay, so in true Blue Peter fashion, here's a, a wee strip that I've cut earlier. So I'm just gonna wrap these, this, this rather, around the motor. Uh, and one thing to mention is, Try your level best not to get anything puckered up to make sure, pull it slightly tight and to make sure there's no air bubbles, there's nothing that's rocked up or rippled because that's going to make it harder to fit this back into the adapter. So we'll just do one wrap there. We've got to that end and I'll just trim it down there, making sure not to, to cut the wires. There we go. Excellent. So we'll now take this and we'll fit it back into that adapter. Okay, so as ever, we will feed these wires through the central hole on the adapter there, with the shaft pointing out the way, uh, and then just carefully feed the adapter into the space there. Now, it's gonna be tighter, which is obviously the whole point in doing this, uh, but it does mean that sometimes um, if it's particularly tight, 
uh, it might pucker up or get caught on the side. So do just be careful with that. But anyway, we'll slowly move that in there. There we go. Excellent. That's it in place. Uh, and now just to test that it is uh, sufficient. There we go. So there's no movement at all there this time, which means that this is all dead set, ready to go and be installed into the locomotive. Oh, and just one point, if there was a little bit of movement there, pop it out again, although in this one it might be quite tricky because we've got it wedged in. Yeah, so this one's wedged in quite well and I'll need a wee screwdriver to get it out. I'm not going to get it out this time, but if it is a bit loose anyway, just pop it out again and then pop another wrap of caps on tape and then pop it back in again. So build it up or subtract with a capped on tape um, and that is the ideal way of getting these nice and securely into these adapters but still so you can pop them out in future using a screwdriver potentially <laughs> uh, if you ever needed to replace the motor. Okay, well, that was a really short, short, stress shorts video this time, but uh, I hope you find it useful if you've got one of these and it's a wee bit loose. Um, and uh, if you do have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments below or drop me a message. Um, but anyway, until next time, cheerio for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>